Welcome to Video Culinary. I am Daniela. Today, Grandma Emma and I are going to make a crepe cake with white chocolate frosting. Make the white chocolate ganache frosting. Chop 400 grams of white chocolate and place in a bowl. Bring 600 milliliters of heavy cream to simmer. Pour over the chocolate. Stir until smooth and the chocolate has completely melted. Cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 5 hours. Make the crepe batter. Combine 2 eggs, half a teaspoon of salt, and 1 teaspoon of sugar in the bowl of a stand mixer. Mixing on low speed, add 350 milliliters of milk. Add 280 grams of flour and a teaspoon of baking powder and mix until smooth. Scrape down the size of the bowl, add another 300 milliliters of milk, mix, and set aside for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, scrape down the sides of the bowl and mix the crepe batter for 2 minutes. Strain. and add 2 tablespoons of oil. Heat the pans. Lightly grease with butter. Add a small amount, about 40 to 50 milliliters of the batter, and swirl the pan. Cook over medium heat until golden. Use a skewer to flip the crepe. Cook for a few seconds on the other side and remove from the pan. This amount of batter yields about 20 crepes of 25 cm in diameter. Visit our website videoculinary.com to find the great recipe for crepes filled with mushrooms. Remove the white chocolate ganache from the fridge. Transfer to the bowl of a stand mixer and whip on high speed until stiff. Be careful not to over whip the ganache. Use a bowl of 20 cm in diameter to assemble the cake. Line the bowl with four crepes so that they overlap each other and overhang the rim by 2 cm. Spread a thin layer of the white chocolate frosting using the back of a spoon. Place one crepe on top of the frosting Spread a thin layer of the frosting and continue this pattern. To fill the hollow center of the bowl, spread a thin layer of frosting on top of a crepe. Fold the crepe into a log shape or fold in half and in half again, creating a triangle.
place four crepe triangles on top of the frosting. Spread a thin layer of the frosting on top and continue until you're left with two or three crepes. Reserve some of the frosting to cover the cake. Fold the overhanging edges inward. Place two or three crepes on top of the bowl. Place a cutting board or a plate on top and invert. Press the bowl lightly to compact the layers. Refrigerate for at least five hours. You could ice the cake with a remaining white chocolate frosting or cover it with white chocolate glaze. To make the white chocolate glaze, chop 250 grams of white chocolate and place in a bowl. Bring 150 milliliters of heavy cream to simmer and pour over the chocolate. Stir until melted and smooth. If your chocolate hasn't completely melted, Place the bowl over gently simmering water and stir until smooth. You could cover the cake with a glossy caramel glaze or a chocolate mirror glaze. Find these recipes on our website video culinary.com. Remove the cake from the fridge. Trim any excess crepe and frosting. Invert Use a knife to release the cake from the bowl Invert again and remove the bowl Ice the cake with the remaining white chocolate frosting Use a spatula to smooth the surface Place in the fridge for a few minutes. The white chocolate glaze should cool to room temperature, but still be runny enough to pour over the cake. If the glaze becomes too thick, reheat it over simmering water or in the microwave for a few seconds. Place the cake over a rack set over a sheet tray and pour the glaze onto the center of the cake. You could use any leftover white chocolate glaze again by straining it and warming it up. Transfer the cake to a serving plate. Place in the fridge until the glaze sets. Fill a pastry bag fitted with a small star tip with any remaining white chocolate frosting and pipe a shell border at the bottom of the cake. Dip a few strawberries in melted white chocolate, place on parchment paper and refrigerate for a few minutes until set. Arrange on top of the cake. Serve this beautiful cake with tea or coffee. You'll find more recipes on our website videoculinary.com. Thank you so much for using videoculinary.com. Please subscribe to keep up with all the latest recipes. See you next time.